I think that's a, that's that's one of the reasons that I wasn't super. I was a little but hurt. You were pretty but hurt. And, and you were pretty Logger but. found that about <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 17 of Stout and Lager, your favorite beer podcast with good conversations. I'm your host, Stout, with my co host, Lager. And Hello. today we're doing a little bit of a fall special. And why, why is that? What are we doing special today, Lager? Well, I guess it's fall. It's like when we're recording, it's like October 9th. And we're very big deep into fall. And we. For one, I we saw this pack when we went to like uh, QFC, and it was like the pumpkin pack, special like Elysian pack, where it has four different beers, or like you know that's the theme of pumpkin beers. So that's why we always want to do it because yeah, for, for us it's a big mood here in Seattle where we are right now, and yeah, uh, today we'll be with the first one we'll be drinking. Is which one? Uh, the Night Owl. Night Owl Pumpkin Ale. The, pumpkin all ale. of them are from Elysian. I just opened mine. Hopefully, that Mike picked that up. Cheers, cheers. But um, uh, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, so it's an Elysian pack. Um, I'm actually really excited because they all seem kind of um, darker. darker. I really I like pumpkin. I like like pumpkin yeah. kind of stuff. But uh, this one is Elysian's original pumpkin ale. Um, and I think Lager was, I might be stepping on his toes here, but he was saying that pumpkin, pumpkin beers is a very American thing, which I did not know. Yeah, apparently, like, I, I guess, it goes to show, like, pumpkin really is a big, um, Thanksgiving thing. Oh my, I, Style just drank his first sip. And that's, I did. <laughs> nice sip. It sounds, it tastes very interesting. I actually kind of like it. It's quite pleasant. I see, which, it tastes like a, a pumpkin pie. Yeah, it's really good. It's like. This is actually really good. This is, I, I think this would be the first beer that comes to mind that I can compare it to is, have you ever had the, the Hershey's Porter? Hershey's Porter, no. So there's, there's this, it's like a, it's a Porter, so it's a dark beer, obviously, yeah. but it's made by Hershey's, I think, or like, yeah. so Hershey's collaborated with them, and it's like a dessert beer. So I think this is like a dessert beer. Um, the, I, I guess depending this. on the other ones, this one might be like, like so far, it's a pretty solid start. I'd say. Oh, this is actually really good. I'm like, I'm drinking it, and like, this is six percent. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty light for six percent. That's but, insane. Um, but that's, yeah, that's insane. So I guess the as we always start, we always start with our little weekly catch up. Good catch up. It's gonna be a little interesting since we've been together pretty much for the whole time. So yeah, so it's more like a catch up for you guys to yeah. to know why we're gone up to since, ever since like. Me moving here, or not moving here, but like, you know, crashing here. And yeah, we've been living here since your wedding. Oh, no, no, no. Since you came back from your honeymoon, right? And, and it's been kind of interesting living together-ish. I mean, I don't know. I still feel like it's just a person crashing in your couch and, you know, eating your food. I mean, you, you, yeah. you put in money for that. So it's not, it's not like yeah. you're just completely reloading. Reloading. <laughs> no, yeah. But, yeah, well, I mean, I guess there hasn't been that much time in between yeah. because we did record some episodes in between the, yeah, the past like week. Yeah, we we were trying to like get on like a good uh, routine because like I know that we wanted to do that before, but then like you know stuff happening, your wedding, and you know just schedule being tougher. Me not knowing some certain things by editing, so some videos took longer than you know usual. So it feels good to be like on a you know on a good routine. Um, it's been fun though. It's been fun. We've been doing some stuff. We've been playing some games. Uh, we got to hang out with the Seattle people, uh, for some karaoke last Friday, and that yeah. was really fun. Nope. Yeah. The well, I, that was actually kind of interesting because yeah. during the morning, I felt really sick for some reason. So oh, yeah, I, I woke did. up. I work. I work. I wow. I, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, I wow, wow, wow. work on East Coast hours, so yeah. I usually start work around five thirty six. Um. Actually, side note: I saw that my meeting got moved from five thirty to six a.m. So I was like, "Oh snap! Am I gonna be able to start at six p six a.m. now?" And someone else put a meeting at five thirty. So I'm still gonna start at five thirty. But um. Wow! When, isn't isn't yeah. that such a fake out? I was so sad. Yeah. I, I saw it. I was like, "Dude, thirty more thirty more minutes of sleep. It's lit." But yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. You guys do that. Tangents. Um. But it's crazy that you do that because like I've been waking up at seven six thirty, and I've been. I'm feeling too tired, but like, 
Yeah, you, you wake up at 4, 4 30 or 5 a.m.? Usually around 5 15, 5 30. Yeah, he was like, that's insane. But yeah, so I woke up on Friday and I was chilling for a little bit. I was working. Um, I wasn't really hungry, so I didn't eat until like maybe like nine. But around like nine, my stomach really started hurting. And it was like, it wasn't like a stomach ache pain or like that I'm like super full. It was kind of like, like a sharper pain. So yeah. I was kind of freaking out. Yeah. So I was like, I went to lay down for a little bit. I went like I was walking back and forth, seeing like if any of that helped. And then I was just like chilling. And then I got really nauseous out of nowhere. Yeah. And then I ended up throwing up. So I was it, like, it, it sounded like, crazy from the outside. Like, and you know, not gonna, I kind of should have asked you like, like hey, are you OK? <laughs> like, I don't know. I just I was like, throwing up, dying in the bathroom and stout or stout. Logger was just chilling on the on the couch, on that. the desk, just, Probably, just straight chilling. I don't know. I just, I, I probably just like I don't know because you do something similar when you're when you're brushing your teeth, right? Like, oh yeah. You, you I don't know. You do it too much and then you. Like, well, I, I brush my I, when I brush my tongue, I usually sometimes off or gag. I'm yeah. a weak boy. I thought that was that. I think, but no, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And then you went to you went yeah. to sleep all day. Yeah, I took I took like half of the day. I took a sick day, yeah. and then I literally took a nap, and I went to sleep. And I was expecting to like sleep for like an hour or two, but I woke up and it was fucking two. And I was like, no. what the fuck? Yeah. I basically slept the whole work day. So yeah. I got I, up and then I was fine. But then after that, we went to karaoke. Karaoke. It was fun. We, we got, the thing is, the, the thing is, we were both like very minimal eating wise. Yeah. And that was crazy. I had a cup ramen and you only had a bagel in the morning. And, and then. Which uh, I threw up. <laughs> you chewed so, through up. Not much in the tank there. And then we were like going at five to pregame with uh, soju and, you know, you know, drink and then drink more in the karaoke place. Shout, yeah. out, shout out to Halo. It's Halo time. Halo time. Time on the clock. Isn't that the, the developers? 343? Three, three? Isn't that the developers? All right, anyways, continue. 343 is Halo? I'm pretty sure that the, I don't know. Bungie? Continue. I'm about Bungie, right? Yeah. But, um, no, yeah, like, so they were like, Go, dude, we need to eat. We need to eat something. Like, it was like, I don't think I can do, I, can, I don't think I can drink on an empty stomach like this. And it was like, it felt, but the thing is, weirdly enough, I don't, I didn't feel hungry though. I just felt like, I don't know. I, was, I felt okay. I feel like I couldn't, I didn't need to eat necessarily if I wasn't gonna drink, you know? It, it was kind of like that. But we ended up walking, we ended up going to the bus, the light rail, and then stopped by. But Sarah says peepees. Yeah, there's a a drive-in slash like little just fast food spot called Dicks here Dicks. that is yeah. super fire. Um, it's good. We just like loaded up two burgers. We just ate on the way. And we got rid of the evidence, but perfectly sour, because sour yeah. snitched on us. Oh yeah, she did. <laughs> snitched the soju, and then soju ended up was like, "Oh, can I, can I get a burger?" And we didn't see it, so I kind of felt bad about that. Yeah, I think it's fine. She she had corn dog after. No, she yeah. didn't actually. That was funny. Uh, but there then yeah, we we pregame at, at her place and then we did the karaoke and the karaoke was fun, dude. Like I I got to sing some songs that I didn't get to do before. Like we, you know. we kind of skipped something. We did we did a little pregame first. I had a pregame, but like, I was like, what? We did shots and then I I tried my best to not be a water fountain. Yeah, logger logger slowly improving. He he went from like being at his peak to regressing. And not being able to take shots very well, and now he's yeah. it's coming yeah. back a little bit. I'm not gonna lie; I was kind of I've regressed too a little bit. Okay, yeah. so I'm not I think it's just warm alcohol too. Warm alcohol just sucks. but that was that wasn't bad alcohol. No, the, the tequila was good. The rum rum will always be bad for me. You know, I feel like rum is just the flavor just changes on you so much. It's kind of crazy how that how that works. But um, yeah, I, I almost like. I, I always feel it coming back up just one one time. Yeah, you were, you were you were fighting on the sink and Soju was trying to talk to you. and You're like, give me a second. Give me a second. No, legitimately, I'm like, I like, like, please. And then and then and then she pat me on the back and like, I thought it was over. <laughs> I thought it was over. I feel like she was no, guiding no. it up. <laughs> she was. Oh, uh, that way, it was good. The two shots were good. The tequila was really good. I, I can. Right? I think I can still do tequila. At this day and age, to be honest, in my opinion, I think I can do tequila like always. Uh, just need to be chilled with tequila with, with a lime, you know, because like Style said, I'm a bitch, you know. 
It's, it's okay. But um, yeah, so we got to the. All of this is a lot of walking, which is more walking than I've, I've done usually. But it's like, I guess that's the thing about Seattle. You walked a lot. And yeah, I've been like using my walking legs. But then we got to the karaoke place. We got saying a lot. Dude, I, we, me and Sal, we did the best rendition of Puerto Bonito by Bad Bunny. Hands yeah, down. We did a lot of good songs. They, so the karaoke place, we usually, we've gone there a couple of times. And they have sake. They have like some cocktails. So we got some drinks. But um, I think this time, which was new for the, the times that we've been there, I've never seen it before. They had like a YouTube uh like add-on or plug-in i don't know what it was but you they had like their library of songs but then you could also go onto youtube and do it and yeah. add songs through that so we, we went in that time That's before good. it was like they had like a couple of bad money songs but not much so we mm-hmm. were able to do a lot more variety of songs because of that it was good yeah we, we actually got to do more slightly more spanish songs than like i don't know i'm, I'm, pretty, I'm sure that seattle karaoke plays would do you know, um, there's this thing, there's, there was this feature of the curriculum place where you could essentially export the mute, like the us singing into the speakers outside, right? And you can turn on the, you know, the window, because we're at the window room. And boy, okay. did we get some looks. Like, do you notice anybody like that? Yeah. It was like a light switch. There was two light switches, and one of them made the window from like, yeah, like side kind of, of yeah. grayed out or like transparent where you could see through it to like you couldn't see through it and then the other one just yeah like you said played the 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 the, the, the singing Same, outside yeah. but it just played the singing played i never singing. went outside so i never heard how it sounded but i saw a lot of people walking by and they'd like they look at us like, and, and they're, doing? They're, they're little like i don't know i say like a double take double take yeah and i don't know it was funny because like i i usually would make eye contact with them because we were on the the, the dude were, was trying to stare them down bro no it, it's just funny the reactions like hey <laughs> especially like, we went hard um we went hard on a lot of those songs i we were so loud for the clavado and bar that was that was a lot of energy from you that i was not expecting that song is good it was a good song it's a good song. Like it was like, it feels like I, I wish I would have been a little bit drunker for that. Yeah. Yeah, I think the pregame was a good thing because like I didn't really get like drunk off of it. Yeah, that's true. But like, I had some alcohol in my system, so I was already like, kind of. You're feeling okay. it. I mean, I felt the alcohol in me. Not necessarily. Mm. I don't. Th- I wouldn't say even that I was like buzzed, yeah. but. It was enough to like kind of like calm me down because usually when I go to karaoke, I'm like, I'm more introverted, so I don't really yeah. like like me at the beginning of karaoke is very different from me when I'm already like lit. Yeah. Did or, you like buzzed? So I you, feel like I, it just kind of eased into it a lot easier. Do you think you you wouldn't be like that if you were sober? Oh, uh, like, like be probably. singing like bad, bad money. I because I, I know those are your comfort songs. Like, well, yeah, I mean, I still bunny, sing bad yeah. bunny, but like I'd probably not because like I put a lot of songs that I probably wouldn't sing normally. I put like day and night. I put um, John Belly. Well, no, John Belly. I would. I there was one other one that I put. Oh, I put Juice World. Like songs that I don't really like. I like, but I don't listen like that. So what was the song that you did with with Sour? Like was like maybe it was Juice World. I guess, but like that one. Like I got I got into it. Like I like I was like I don't think she sang that one with me. I think that one was. I remember. What's his name? Not Sake. Um, now we do IPA sh- IPA really yeah okay he likes IPAs I, fir- I think I sing it with IPA IPA I don't know. there Maybe. is a lot of good songs and then we we what was the song that we sang like the boys the boys all star was the second to last one oh yeah all star smash but that was that fun was lit. <laughs> we were like- yeah we we kind of ended with the banger we did like a all boys song and then an all girl song yeah. but I mean we we sang for both but yeah, was yeah, but we were like the, the the boy band yeah or the boys band yeah but all stars is dope. Dope place good vibes yeah, it, it's good and i i just love being able to the house sake order the sake and just order a, a bottle of sake for everybody well i would say for everybody like okay we we try to give it to a lot of people but if you can't just you and me drinking sake what do you think what do you mean that face But yeah, like it, I think it's always fun to like when I think that's my favorite thing about karaoke is it's like it's you and me with a bottle of sake, you just keep you keep you know pouring and and you know doing shots between each other. That's that's yeah. really fun. You know, every yeah. time like, 
We did yeah. that. That was Friday. And then after that, we went to get some food. Oh, yeah. We did a parilla. We did a parilla. And you no, were the cooker. At the, at the freaking after karaoke, ding dong. Oh, well, yeah. We yeah, went and got yeah. some food. We went to some, a, a Korean chicken place. And then after that, we went out with um, Absence and Absence IPA. And IPA. We hit up which, some which other bars. I just I was ask her like, if she wants to change her name. Yeah, we we gotta figure out her name because mm. I feel like IPA is more Apt. fitting because really? he likes IPAs. Absinthe is just because of that one time. That's just the one time, yeah. But um, but like we it was fun. We around. went to a bar, a bar that they recommended that had good, tasty cocktails, and then we went to another Ooh, bar. I, I got my morgue. I, I got my morgue. favorite drink ever in the world. world. Oh, that little bitch cup that you fucking got? Godfather. Oh, I thought you were talking about the bitch cup that you got that you ended up getting a freaking oh, rum, rum and coke. Rum coke with it. <laughs> no, that was that, that, that rum and coke. I, I, I just like I sucked that shit up like as soon you as like possible. Sucking stuff up. I did. I do. Um, no, but I, I did the Godfather, which for people who don't know, because uh, it is three parts Scotch whiskey and one part uh, amaretto, and. And I've I've given to I giving it to a lot of people that I know. Um, I give it to to Stout. I give it to Sake, and no one likes it. <laughs> and it's just a sipping drink, and I'm not a sipper. Yeah. I drink my drinks quick, so it's not only like it's not. You think it's not a cocktail, so it's not yeah. like it doesn't match the flavor much. No, it, it's meant to be like almost like. And you, if I drink it how I drink alcohol, it'll get me yeah. messed up. So I just like it's just it's, dangerous it's, drink for it's me. It's like an old fashioned type of drink. Yeah, Where you're supposed to sip it, like you said, like like you know you like. Dude, but I feel like the the problem with that is like with old fashioned style drinks. Yeah. My dad really likes old fashions, and yeah. what he would do is he'd make sometimes. Well, old fashioned is what it's whiskey with the some with the bitters, bitter sugar. We sugar. Sh- you smash it, and then some sass from an orange. Peel. Okay, yeah. So he do that, and then like and sometimes whiskey. maybe put water. So. It's just pretty much straight whiskey, and I'm not the biggest fan of whiskey. So when that when he would make me drinks like that, or when I have like drinks like that, usually I, I want to drink it quicker because I don't like it. So I already drink quick, and I'm drinking it quick because it's not the best. And when was it's this? Just not a good example, when or not it? not a good example. When was this? Oh, just throughout like. How old were you? I mean, I was after I was 21. I don't think I drank. I I think the earliest I drank was like maybe like 19. Well, with your parents, right? Well, my parents, I didn't drink until I was 21. Mm. Yeah. I was just embarrassed to drink. Embarrassed? Nah, I feel that. I feel that. Uh, I, I mean, Loki. My parents didn't really see that side of me until the wedding. Yeah, yeah. My, I like they knew I was after I turned twenty one. I drank with them, and I, they they saw me get lit with like Sour's brother and like with you, but yeah. they didn't really see like the Shep party it's side. Shep which, part. What was that? Was kind of like a portion of the wedding was. It's kind of crazy like, that you are. Putting that that name in as a synonymous to your wild side because like yeah. that's really where where it awakened, but um yeah no yeah like that's crazy like the drinking culture there and I for me I I, I never drank that like that with my parents either like I when we have like family things I maybe drink beers you know because I like I like enjoying a nice beer but like I don't do like shots but is that okay. a thing though like does your family events usually have like hard liquor like that or is it just more of beer the thing is it never was on our side it was only until kind of like well, well was, when your family expanded and when my family expanded like because well, at first it was maybe my brother will because because he has his well, some of his best friends with our with us for christmases and stuff because we become friends with their parents and stuff and so then maybe they're doing you know liquors and stuff but then uh, my sister's uh, husband came into the fold and he brought his side and they'd be like the ones that like they're bringing whiskey they'd be drinking on the rocks with some soda and, Savage. and like some rum that's some hard there. body shit that shit will yeah. make you grow some hair on your balls yeah and then my, my <laughs> I feel like my mom started drinking more wine like in the, I don't know in the last five years I feel like like more than I noticed more, more than before I was in college I feel like yeah I, I feel like the more she knew pe- more people that are adults at her age, I think she started drinking more wine again and stuff like that. And, like, she did that. And, but, like, I mean, I'm still, like, not that comfortable. I feel like I'm most comfortable doing it, you know, with you guys, you know, or with my friends. It's just, yeah. it's just like, I don't, know, I don't think I have the vibes sometimes. Well, yeah. I feel like for me, like, my, my family was pretty, like, drink-heavy. 
not that like they get yeah. super drunk, but like every time we had something, there'd be a cooler full of beer. And my dad would usually have like a bottle, a 750 of like whiskey and like maybe yeah. a 750 of like tequila for margaritas, like margarita mix, the pre-made one. Pre-made ones. Like so a- it was always like around, but I think it's just more so like when college came around and the first time that I drank start like happened, that's when I like kind of started doing that. And then from there, it's just been a whirlwind downhill, but. Whirlwind <laughs> downhill. <laughs> but at least we, we drink what we want like. Yeah. Man, it's crazy drinking with your parents, but you know it's not crazy drinking with your friends at a parilla or a grilling. So on Saturday we actually did some uh, grilling. And Pretty fun. Yeah, you were like the big cooker of the you know the group. Like grilling. We also got a fire deal on flank steak. Flank steak. Like, we got like thirty dollars worth of flank steak. It's good. And yeah. Got two times because it was buy one get one. I was like, yeah, it was good. It was good. Not a lot of meat. It was really good, like, eating it. Uh, the thing that, that was rough was, like, how hot it was in Seattle. For some reason, Saturday was the hottest day. <laughs> and yeah, I think that was the last, like, hot day that we were going to have probably until, like, May. Yeah, and we were spending it outside. <laughs> Might as well enjoy it. Might as well enjoy it. And then after that, or, like, during the weekend, we've just been watching also reality shows. Yeah, we've been degenerates. Watching yeah. Love Island and... Um, Love Island was Thursday a thing. Shore. Love Island was a thing me and Sarah wanted to do. And then, you know, we kept watching it. And then I think you guys got to watch again Jersey Shore. Because yeah, you guys already watched it before. Yeah, we've been watching Jersey Shore again. Open my beer, though. All right. Yeah, we're we'll opening the next beer. Yeah, but I guess with that, with beers comes Beer of the Week. So we beer of the Week. First beer, the Elysian Night yeah. Owl Pumpkin Night Ale. Owl. Was there? I believe that was your first pumpkin ale, the original. The original, yes, it was. So what? What do you think? What do you think? You got to think about it, or you wanna? You got got some facts ready? What was? <laughs> I, I think I think one. I think some of the real cool things about like because cause we're like we, we finally revealed that like you know we're in Seattle and it's cool that we kind of for this pumpkin thing we actually started with a brewing company that's actually very based in Seattle. Uh, the Le- Elysian Brewing Company, they, they were founded in 1995. And the first location was at Capitol Hill, which is like a very prominent, you know, neighbor, a, a neighborhood. Partyville. The Partyville, yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's 19, 1995, so two years from now, or two years from now, it's like their 30th anniversary. Yeah. And, and they think that's still like relatively new as a beer. But I mean, they have a pretty wide like impact in here. In Seattle? No, in general, because I remember in Florida, bleep, maybe, I don't know, in the, whole, in the motherland, yeah. my parents used to like Space Dust, which is one of their popular IPAs. IPAs? Yeah. Oh, I, I've seen Space Dust over there. So that's literally across the country. It's kind of crazy that they, like, I don't know, I feel like local, like, you know, like there's a lot yeah. of breweries that are around here that are within, like, the bordering states or just within, yeah. you know, Seattle. But, like, to have a c- across the country reach, I feel like is very, very powerful. Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then something else. So, punk, um, style kind of revealed, like, uh, pumpkin and ales, pumpkin and ales are, like, very popular thing in America. Like, it's actually started from the United States. And they're essentially maybe produced with, like, pumpkin flesh in combination with the molds, you know, when they add it to the mash. Um... You know, it contributes to like the sugars to the to the wort, which is like um, the fermented, the starting fermented stuff. And something that's kind of weird from I mean, reading that apparently the first pumpkin beer, pumpkin ale, was made from the Buffalo Bills Brewery in Hayward, California, in 1980s. So that's the first commercially brewed. But apparently, the brewing dates back all the way to 1775. Uh, 1771 because the recipe that they use was apparently based on brewing studies made by George Washington like George Washington had recipes I guess or, or studied brewing all the way back in 1770 something motherfucker was sailing across that ocean with a fucking notebook full of beer recipes I guess yeah I mean I, I, I guess he just got tired of all the wine that British 
or drinking. <laughs> like, I want some pumpkin beer. <laughs> and like, well, yeah, they, it's a really interesting different ways that they they make this beer ale. They just use either spice, a lot of spices, beer chunks during the process to get this taste. Talking about taste, what are you thinking? Well, how would you describe the taste of Night Owl? I think the it was very it was a very good introduction to pumpkin ales. Yeah, because it was light. It still was six point seven percent, which is kind of fucking crazy because it did not taste like it. It did not taste. So for it, was, 6. it was very it light. You had like the that. beer taste and you had a pumpkiny aftertaste. So you tasted yeah. both aspects of it. I really liked. Yeah. By you, what do you think of the flavor? I no, legitimately, I I literally the first drink because you said you had to drink. Like everyone heard, and it's like f. It's like damn, and then um I tried it. And it's like it literally is a pumpkin pie, yeah, for me. Yeah, it's just like pumpkin latte or something like that, and uh, yeah, it's it's super sweet. That was the that was the picture I think. The picture when I looked up the pumpkin pack was it had the uh, night owl. On with like pumpkin pie in it, and I really like pumpkin pie, so it was pretty good. If it gets for me, I I hate actually pumpkin flavor stuff. The- I don't like it as much. As yeah, bad people. news for you. We yeah, no. A, we got a, a bunch oh. of pumpkin beers coming. Up. <laughs> I know, but this beer makes me actually like it because like it's like I don't know, it's very low key about it, and uh, and like and the fact that six point seven, and can you can you guess what the IBU is? Two. Eighteen. They're kind of close. Pretty. It's a sweet beer. They were actually very sweet beers. And it's kind of crazy the other ones that I'm looking at. But a break. Their uh, beers or of this pack? Of this pack. Oh. And like, because it's like, it's wild. Um, but for me, I've, I will say Night Owl comes in as. Damn, I really like this beer. I was like, I'm thinking of doing 8.5. 8.5 Halloween movies. Uh, DVDs. And then, yeah. For me, I think pretty good. I think this might change on how the other beers are. You're right. It might change. But I think for now, I'm going to give it a 7.5 owls mm. out of 10. Eh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you got to do, you gotta do the obvious one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. No, yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Uh, have you tried the the next one we have? The next one we're drinking uh, is the Great Pumpkin Imperial Ale. This is, and if you remember from one of our past episodes, what does Imperial mean? Imperial, okay. imperial essentially means is that they they double the amount of alcohol, like like a percentage. This is like so. This goes up to like what what is it? Eight. This goes to eight point four percent. Strong beer. And, and it's like they're, they're the stronger beers. Like, it's like. Uh, you hear I- Imperial IPAs, those are just the double ones. They're like 9%. Yeah, so we'll see. I haven't tried it yet. Cheers. Again. I tried it. Cheers anyway. It's still, you still have the, t- the pumpkin-y face, face, but I feel like this one should definitely tastes just stronger. Tastes like... It's more like... Um, I don't say alcoholy, but like... It's like a metallic. Fuck. Man, need to drink. Man, you drink more. We're gonna need to start getting like, 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 like coffee grains. <laughs> yeah, palate cleansers. I thought I was gonna sneeze and then I coughed. Mm. I don't know. That was weird. You, you, I'm surprised you don't, you didn't go for like the full, the full snout. <laughs> the full like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So we're drinking. This is the second one, and like we said, this is kind of a fall special because as stout me. And loggers, yeah, I don't know. I keep up on you. Stop this episode. Why are you but as loggers saw, I feel like winter. Winter. Wow. Now we're talking about winter. I'm struggling here. We're uh, talking about fall. fall. Fall has started in Seattle. Yeah. And it has been rainy and cold. The rain has started today. So. Do you like it's it? It's fitting. I like the rain. Yeah. It didn't really rain that much last year, which is surprising. No. So I guess we'll see this year if it's rainy. But. Yeah, we're we're doing a. Fall special, you know, last a couple of weeks ago we had the the summer special. Where we did the the Kona, Kona's, Kona's, and now we're gonna yeah. do some some pumpkin theme season. Yeah, because that was a pretty I, I was a pretty spooky. Like you ever 
seen an owl at night with our beady eyes and just the hell you scared of owls bro a little bit if they show up if they show up at night i'll, I'll be scared yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get an owl mask and chase you around maybe you should but like yeah like so talking about spooky season is like the first what was the first thing that comes to your mind about fall that first thing that comes to my mind about fall yeah i'd probably say halloween slash like spooky like horror movies yeah we 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 watched some you know we we, we just watched the nightmare of on the elm street i say nightmare nightmare on elm street and can i just say like i I was kind of dreading this movie because i never watched this movie and i kind of thought it's funny it was like it's actually not it wasn't that scary you know yeah i feel like a lot of the classics are more so creepy i guess maybe i don't even know if creepy is the right word I mean, I don't know. I, th- I think Freddy Krueger is a. It felt very like a funny looking guy. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know. Maybe the burn scars are more scary to some people. It's like I don't know. You just like look, you know, cute. What the hell? I don't know if he's cute, <laughs> but I feel like a lot of the older movies, it was like when they first came out, they're probably creepy, but now they're not really as creepy. I don't really feel like I felt scared much during the movie, if at all. But it was a cool movie. I like yeah. I like horror movies a lot. Yeah, they I really like do. what that around this time is when all of like the the horror movies come out. Like the Nun yeah. Two came out a bit ago. The Exorcist came out. There's a lot of good horror movies that come out during this time. There's gonna be a Saw movie, and like I will never watch the Saw movie. Weak. I'm like I'm just not into gore stuff. You know that's the thing. I I don't like seeing trunks. I never like watching my birth video. <laughs> And we're just like, and I know you had your birth video. I did. Yeah, my parents filmed everything. That's crazy. <laughs> That's scary. That's spooky. But um, no, yeah, it's been it's kind of like that. And have you ever had any spooky experiences? I think the only thing that comes to mind right now is there was this one time that I was in a hotel. It was the Ramada, Ramada Inn, or whatever the mm-hmm. or whatever the hotels were called. Um, and I was in Georgia. I don't know why, but we went to Georgia, I guess. We were we were doing stuff in Georgia. We went to like the Coca Cola Museum. Went to some other places over there. You know, tar- the typical touristy stuff to do. I think we we're in Atlanta, so I'm pretty sure that's where the museum is and all that stuff. Um, but we were doing that, and then I was like pretty young. I was probably like maybe middle school, early. Mid- I think not even middle school. I think I might have been just pre- literally in elementary school at some point. Probably late elementary school. But I remember we had a two by two, I guess not that two by two, but like a two, two queen beds, and one bathroom. My mom and dad were sleeping on their on the bread and I was sleeping with my sister. And I remember like I woke up in the middle of the night and I swear I saw like a figure there just chilling, chilling, looking at me and I was freaking out. And it was like an old hotel. How old were you? I was like in elementary school, um. late elementary school, may, at most early middle school, but I don't think I was in middle school because it was like, it's not very like clear in my mind, but I do remember this and it was just very creepy. And I remember trying to fall asleep and I was fucking was struggling because I was so creeped out. But yeah, moral of the story, don't stay at Ramada hotels because they might be haunted. They might Unless be. they're like newly renovated or like brand new because I feel like the one that we stayed at was very old. I guess not not Ramada specifically, just don't stay at old hotels. They'd be creepy. Maybe. And I feel spooky stuff. And sometimes I feel like that's is that just maybe your eyes just playing at you, you know, playing like, I don't know, some kind of trick. Because like cause we had ex- I feel like I had a similar experience with you. Well, I don't know with not with you, but like, I don't know, here. The first in the first night, very first night I stayed with you, right before the wedding. I literally was sleeping on the couch, and I wake up, and then, I don't know, there's movement by the kitchen, like, much, like, perfectly in line to, like, look up, looking at the kitchen, and I just keep hearing noises, mm-hmm. and I open the, my eyes, and I see, I go to the, I see the kitchen, I feel like I was seeing you, or someone's tall, I kept seeing, hearing, I don't know, noises, I'm just gonna close my I wait for him, wait for him to like back to his room or something like that. That was spooky. I was getting scared. Yeah, 
like the mind plays games on a lot. I mean, it was at night and not a lot of light. Did. I, mean, I think that thing a lot of people. Yeah. Especially when you sleep. Be spooky, be spooky. But I like spooky season. I feel like watching horror movies, though, like, you know how some people say they have nightmares because of it? I don't feel like that really happens to me. You never get nightmares. Not that I don't get nightmares, but, like, I feel like it's not directly attributed to me watching a scary movie. I feel like I'll be creeped out, but, like, that it's not to the point where it's in my dreams or I dream about it. I guess so, but it's like, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> but, yeah. That was less spooky stuff. What are the things that you're hoping to do during the fall? Fall, like, you know, like Halloween? Well, typically. Something that I definitely want to do is I want to go to a haunted house. There's one close to us that we might go to this Sunday. But um, we, I feel like for the past, well, for not, I feel like literally for the past, like, four or five years, I didn't really have the opportunity to do anything for, for Halloween because of the, sh- the convention that we would go to that always ended up being around Halloween. True. That's true. So this year, I'm not going to the convention, but we have a wedding that we're going to, so still not going to be able to do yeah, that. But yeah, but got, I got. Definitely, I want to go to a haunted house. I want to enjoy, too. like, I feel like here, excuse me, compared to Whoa. the motherland, there's a lot of like pumpkin patches, corn or corn mazes, stuff like that. So I, I like taking advantage of that. I remember last year we went with one of our other friends, Bushy. I don't I think that's the that's name. That, we that's have our her. name I don't on think Discord. That's on them. Yeah. So we went with her. That was fun. Love to do something like that again this Boy, the the weather's starting to change to cool cuz I really enjoy that about Seattle, the weather. I think so too. I think I f- I really do prefer the the cold, man. I I myself. I don't know. Got tough, on, but uh, that's cool though. Like I, you really don't see pumpkin patches. I don't know either. We'll see. But like, yeah. Motherland. So are those the main differences you think from Motherland? Are right now? Well, here the seasons change. <laughs> The there's actual actually fall. there's an actual fall um but i feel like here also something that i'm curious about is obviously since a lot more people live in a concentrated area it's not as like i feel like in back home back there there's a lot more ho- apartments not apartments but like houses house and like condos whereas like here there's a lot of like apartment styles like the apartment that we live in where it's like kind of like a hotel if that makes sense, kind of paint the picture. Like, yeah, it's like, like a, the, the big buildings that yeah, inside. Yeah, big buildings. Is, it's like hallways full of apartments. So I'm curious. Like, I wonder if here people go around knocking around the doors, or like, I don't really know what happens. It's like maybe, back home. You know, I lived in a apartment, or not an apartment, a uh, uh, like a community, community, and they they'd walk around going from like house to house. So I don't know if it's like the same here for like apartments. Well, the thing is, for one is. Is apartment building has kids. I'm not saying kids. There's a lot of families here. Really? I've there's a lot of families here. All. There's a lot of young people here, and there's a lot of old couples well, here. Well, in this building. Yes. I've and, seen and a lot ne- of all of them already. I've never seen kids. I've only seen like adults. I've seen kids going. Well, the other day I went downstairs to pick up a package, and when I went downstairs, there was like this kid who looked like, you know, they were like maybe elementary school, middle school, and they were just going up their house i've seen a lot of kids around here i i the thing that i do notice like what you said like holy shit yeah how do people get in that's what i'm saying like it's, it would really only be like i feel like it's different i don't, I don't think it has the, the same magic apartment. i feel like it doesn't have the same magic i had i'm from i remember i remember when because i'm from venezuela i came here when i was nine that first year of me being here or being there during Halloween, because that was the first time I ever done Halloween. It was absolutely magical. We went, to, like, we hit up three neighborhoods, to drive into. Me and my sister took. I had a orange ghost bag. He had like a purple vampire bag, and we did the trick or treat, happy Halloween. 
and we get home, and then we just eat that shit up. And the fact, the thing, the fact that we were able to hit so many houses, and it was so magical. Like, and then you see all, all, and the thing is, it feels such like um festivities because you see all the people doing it in the area. I feel like maybe you don't you probably won't be able to see that here because people have to go into their buildings or. Maybe I mean, I'm sure that there's still a lot of houses around here, so it's probably still. But I'm just curious, like here. Sites. Well, no, there's like houses around where we live too. But like here, where we are right now, we're like there's buildings. I don't think there's. I don't feel like there's that. houses. There's a lot of houses. Oh, there. there's houses here. Why if you cross like a like a block over, two blocks over where we live right now, I don't think it's guys, more. I don't think guys are gonna get hit then. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. I, I guess that's something that I'm curious about. But because because your door is also locked, or like the get yeah, into like the, the building, the apartment complex. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but maybe the people that are here and the, the start here and then then go. Well, I feel like here something that's different from like back home too is that there's a lot more like festivals and like the city hosts events. Like there was a great pump beer festival or some. I think that's what it was called, like the Great Beer Festival or something. Or something like that. They have like a lot of festivals where like I really don't know if I remember that happening much. Like in back home, I'd remember like they do Fourth of July fireworks. They do like uh, maybe like a Thanksgiving parade or something. But there wasn't yeah. really like much like like there's a summer solstice parade here. There's an Oktoberfest like big thing here. Like I don't know if maybe because I was younger, I didn't notice those things back home. But I definitely feel like a lot more happens here. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I think it's about time for us to rate our second beer. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not to rate the Great Pumpkin Imperial Pumpkin Ale, which is eight point four percent, which is a lot. Can you can I just say that for being a Imperial, Imperial uh, and literally an IPA? Think about it. Except not as bitter. It, it has to be probably the best Imperial anything I've ever drank. Because You're really liking these pumpkin beers that you don't like pumpkin though. The thing is, it's like a, a, compared comparing to freaking beers, it's true. It's actually, it has the same concept of like, oh, this cocktail is so tasty. Drink ten of them and it's fucked. Like, yeah, I feel that. If yeah. if if I, if I just like think about this one, yeah. On the website, it says that this one is packed with pumpkin, roasted pumpkin seeds. And it's spiced with cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and allspice. So they right. taste all of those things. This one's not as sweet as the other one. The other one, when it, the, for the picture that it had, it had like a picture of pumpkin pie. Which I'm assuming is because it was sweeter. But this one's stronger and not as sweet. I'm intrigued to see the, the stout. These don't use a lot of hops. They don't do use hops at all. I don't think any of them do. Use, I mean, all beers malts. use some hops and malts and barley and everything, but like this, like IPAs use a disgusting amount. Yeah, and IPAs are pale ales. These are they? You know, they're, 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 they seems to be used a lot. For this one, I think I, I think I might have to resend the other. I know what I have. For this one, yeah, I, can do. I like the other one more. So the last one was a seven point five. Owls out of 10. I think you can tell with the theme what this one's going to be. For the great pumpkin ale, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 pumpkins. <laughs> like, like, oh, it's, I'm gonna, then I'm going to do a theme then. I'm going to say the great... What do you say? Pumpkin. No, for like... What, seven? Oh, 6. Because of 10. You don't like this as much as the other one? No. I yeah. like the other one because it was a little sweeter. We get her, but uh, it's like that's. Think about it. It's like pumpkin pie, which I really like pumpkin pie. I feel like this tastes so a spe- This one is not as sweet. Not as which sweet. I'm typically not a super sweet, like into sweet guy, but this one's good. Or, sorry, the, the first one was good. This one is also good, though. Okay. Probably darker. All right, I'll give a set. Oh, so I also said I, I mentioned some of the, the, the stuff. The flavors that are in it, but also apparently this is the world's first imperial pumpkin ale. Yes, I saw that, and that's kind of crazy. It's like who? I guess because pumpkin really is a relatively like. All right, what else can we do with pumpkin ales? It's like double it up, like you know, sugar. Yeah. So yeah, that's I'm really intrigued. cool. I'm intrigued to see the other ones. We got a stout and another ale. 
So for me, I will say it's a seven. Seven Friday thirteen. Yeah, I like you're sticking with the horror movie themes. I like the spooky. All right, so let's watch more spooky movies. We'll get Saw on deck. I will not watch Saw ever again. Ever again? So we already watched it. So it I watched. Be- I watched some of the mo- fucking. F- I I just don't like. Anyway. So we got the Night Owl, the Great Pumpkin, and now we're sipping on punk. It's punkachino. Punkachino. Punk coffee, pumpkin ale. This is beer number three. You get that clink clink. I need the clink clink. We're gonna have to like artificially make a clink sound now for the the episodes where we're not face to face anymore. Cheers, cheers. So yes, this is the coffee punkachino number three. This is a coffee pumpkin ale. I'm assuming this is going to be like a porter more so. It probably is going to be a porter. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was going to taste like. Yeah, I'm smelling it. It's like, yeah, it's going to be a coffee. But yeah, I mean, we've been talking about spooky season a lot. And on the theme, on the, on the theme, on the theme of spooky season, the fall, you know, we had the fall of one of the greats this week. We're going to have to pour... Pour a drink out for them. Oh. It's so spooky that one can go 4-0 and, oh and have to take their first L this week. You know what's crazy? I, for those who are completely lost, I am talking about fantasy. Fantasy football, yes. I took my first L this week. Yeah, I went 4-0, and zero, not almost going 4-0. and zero. I went 4-0. and zero. I had a good team. I averaged about 125-ish points a week. And 25. And 100, I had the... So, I... I kind of felt bad because I had the most, I had the least points against in the league. But yeah, I had were... I had one of the highest points for. So I'm I'm scoring high weekly, and the people that I was playing against scored kind of not oh. the best. This is but the... this week I just did I just got shit on. Yeah, you're, like, you 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 guys my, didn't really do any. It wasn't like so. If I, I guess people who don't know about fantasy, it's like it has to work. Yeah, you have. Let's say you have a what is it? It's one one quarterback, two wide receivers, two running backs, a flex, a tight end, a lot of positions basically. It's like I think like a yeah. let's say it's eleven to twelve. I don't know exact the number. I'm not trying to count right now, but mm. there's that many people, and you have uh, like maybe four, five or six people on your bench. Um. So what ended up happening? The nine person league apparently. Oh not, no! Not non league. It's nine people 19. on your starter, yeah, like, on your starter, and yeah. then you have like four, five to six. Uh, on your bench um and what ended up happening this week was i ended up getting like a hundred and something points and it's your lowest probably, yeah right? it's the lowest i've ever scored and i had a couple of people on by but even then like my bench didn't really score that well so you, you, regardless you, you, of what i did i would have lost to yeah. who i was playing you so i'll accept the, my humble l at the very least you were efficient in your loss were like it's, it wasn't because you was wrong person yeah start. i think that's a, that's that's one of the reasons that i wasn't super I was a little butthurt. You were pretty butthurt. Sour and, and you were lager butt. found out who heard yesterday, but you were pretty I accepted butt. it. I wasn't. I honestly probably would have been a lot more butthurt if I had someone on my bench like pop off. Yeah, that that was my but, story. Yeah, Mister. I don't want to start. Was it fucking Christian Kirk? Kirk? I the thing. Would you have started Christian Kirk from the Jaguars over Devonta Smith from the? I mean, tell me not. I think it depends on how many points he was averaging. Because I think the I think the, the Christian was, Kirk had like one to two weeks where he didn't pop off that much. The first for the other he, ones he did pretty decent. First two weeks he was like goose legs, and the, you know there's the, the now three games that decently as a wide receiver. Wide receiver two meaning that you know they're like they're not the one the most scoring wide receivers, but they give you a really good you know steady flow. But yeah. It was, I drafted Devonta Smith, like, I don't know, probably round four, round three. In round four. I think it's round four. Because I'm, like, thinking to myself, like, dude, have him and Jalen Waddle from Miami Dolphins. That's, like, a solid wide receiver pair, you know, that gets points. I feel like... But then, yeah, like, I, I feel like... But then Devonta Smith doesn't do shit some of the weeks. Yeah. I like, mean, that's the name of the game. Fantasy is just such a... It's a week-by-week week thing because... It's not, nothing is certain. Yeah. But I do have to say, I do think that it's interesting 
that someone won a league last year when I drafted for them, and then I didn't draft for them this year. And what's your what's what are you doing? How are you doing so far this season? I, brother, I I I drafted well. I feel like my team was good. It just like, what's your record though? The expectations (laughs) were different when I expected. Okay, I will say you have a pass on your keepers league because you got royally shafted, but this league. You also got really shafted. The thing, but the, the thing is, the thing is, do you think it would have been different if I chosen Hill over Bijan or Robinson? That I, I wanted to take Bijan Robinson. I did want to take. I think he was. But then now he was he's more fucking a, me. He was. Well, is he a rookie? The rookie. He was more of a risky pick because that's like picking like. Yeah. That's like picking. I mean, yeah, it's like CMC over versus like. Bijan, or like, let's say, like a new a new yeah. rookie receiver. Who's who's the new rookie receiver that's been popping off? He's receiver. JSN has not been popping off. Puka Nuku. Oh, yeah. Puka. That's like picking but, but, Puka but, over but, like someone like no Justin one, Jefferson. You know, I think Bijan was like the the rookie of the season. For like looking out for like people are we're taking this guy first round. Well, I mean that's that's the the beauty if, of fantasy though. Like, there's I remember last year that was Brees Hall. Everyone was obsessed with Brees Hall, and then he got a season ending injury. And now he's. Well, how he's, could you predict that? I feel like that's what I'm it, saying. It's, injuries you can't are not. Predict it. But like, I should have known Falcons are just not to be true. Falcons. For anyone know, they're a very mediocre team. I, don't, I, I, I mean, they started so strong in the first two games, but then they're, they're just falling off to where they used to are, where they're middling, win some, they win, they lose some, and they just don't have a good around like overall team around the star you know, running back. Yeah. And and that's kind of been hurting me. And then also, can I just say something? When you drive wide receivers that you feel like were trusted last season, and you feel like couldn't bench them, I feel like in some ways I feel like that's so dangerous because you're not adaptable. Because, so yeah, you did drafted my team last year, right? <laughs> uh, uh, Stout? Yeah. But then after week four, week five, I started doing trades. I started doing some waiver wire, like, you know, pickups. Like, I, I really played the game. The team that I, and I ended up winning this week. The team that I ended up with was so much different from the team I started with. It was, um, you yeah, know, a different quarterback. I had different wide receiver. Some trades were bad, but I got, I feel like, the fact that I was always every week trying to decide why was the best re- wide receiver to start, I prefer doing that rather than trust some person that's like top twelve. Like they, everyone's telling you you should start him no matter what. I prefer going by the numbers. And yeah, like, I feel you like know, there's there's more of like a dopamine rush from like your gut, you trusting your gut feeling and it being right, than like you just trusting a bunch of people who judge football players yeah. and matchups for a living it's like that's like the safe route it's like it when is you go on the risky route, yeah. route and you you end up on top versus like when you go to the safe route and you end up on top it's like just more of like uh and what about when you're feeling what, what about when you end up like lose either direct direction like yeah you know, i lose like, i feel like I, I feel worse losing i don't know what what would I feel, you feel lose, I feel worse losing with the safe choice than I would if I if I would went with my gut feeling. Right. Because there's times where like last year, maybe the year before, I don't know. Like there's times where you you start someone here like oh like I have this feeling on him and they they just don't do excuse me they don't do all or like the other person pops off more. But I feel like that hurts less than like you having a gut feeling of like. Ooh, I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I should start this person, yeah. and they get more points. Definitely, dude. I I agree with you, man. Because like the thing is, I that's I think that's mindset I came into second year. I don't see football that kind of f me up. Went for people who I felt like were safe. My draft, I guess, and then I guess maybe that's a good thing to go in. But I feel like every week I should have. I don't know. I mean, I should have should be more of a manager that, like, you know what? Anybody can be out. You know? Anybody can be out. I, I need to, like, think about the matchups. I need to think about how the target shares are going. First and stuff. You know, I don't need... And I, I can't put people on pedestals who are not wire receiver. You know? 
I think that's what I need to do. Like, I got really too much into hype. But I bought too much into a hype of the one. The gray last season. But in reality, they're very volatile people. Well, I mean, it's, the thing is, that's how, like, it's just, it's all, I feel like with them, it's a little bit harder because McCaffrey did crazy well last season and he's still doing really well. Whereas, yeah. like, I feel like Devontae Smith, he's playing with the Eagles. Eagles, the Eagles are really yeah. good too. But, like, T. Higgins is what? Bengals? Bengals. Bengals are not, they don't, like, they don't have as much threats as, like, let's say the Eagles or the 49ers, where, like, yeah, you, you, they're you, pretty well established. The only, the only threat that the Bengals have is Jamar Chase and Joe. Not much. And mm-hmm. then, uh, but, but I think you're right. And, but it's just like, in, in some realities, because there's a drought from the Bengals early season, right? Joe Burrow, the QB of Bengals, is like rough. being rough. Is like he's not really being good at that. I, mean, I don't know. Being, like Jamar Chase also. I don't know. I feel okay being serious. Man. You know, because like, I. Well, we will. Maybe the tables are turning. I will go 0 and 5 now, and you will go. <laughs> Five and zero oh from here on, and then we have the same score. We'll 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 come back to you in in five weeks with another fantasy update, yeah. and that'll be that. Wait, but can I just say something like something important to do? Because like I feel like a lot of people. Cause I've been reading a lot of Reddit stories. Like, but what I'd be very important about like, how this is a game, right? Yeah, at the end of the day, and at the end of the game is a game, and I I felt this way because like. Coming off from a win, like winning a league but for, for myself, right? And going into this season as we saw losses, it, it took a toll a little bit on some. Like, and this became not fun to me. Like, in some of the first week, God, I just got on like, what is wrong? Turn off the TV, I didn't want to watch it. Biggest thing, though, is. Oh. Give up. So early, or, we got more. We got a lot of football to play. A lot of you're right. I a just, lot of good. You, I, I think what you have to focus on. You don't have a bad team. Your team is just very injured. So I feel like if you focus on like taking advantage of the waiver wire picks that you can get, Thanks, uh, if it, your if, team will be yeah. dangerous in the latter half. Because like I feel like for me, like I drafted a decent team from the start, and my team is kind of starting to fall apart now. Not fall apart, but like. There's people who are getting injured. There's people who you, aren't performing as like, good consistent. Backups, so I'm kind of getting screwed over on the waiver wire. So don't give up. You got that. You got them healthy, healthy waiver wire picks. And are you looking to do any trades? Like, 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 like fuck that. I don't need no help. Loss. I don't no. need no help. You don't dude, <laughs> stop. I really doesn't need any help. I have like, a freaking I'm very selfish. I think I, I have very a, I have people on my bench that I should probably trade, but I'm like fuck that. I don't want to give them because then if they pop off on their team, I'm gonna be like motherfucker. Why did I trade them? Thing is, one of my best trades I've ever done at the very least was I traded away Lamar Jackson. Eventually, I was like, was that when you when you got injured? And it was right before Lamar Jackson got. Injured. So I that was, you fuck you dodged the bullet there. That one was the best trade I've ever done last year. And That's the thing too. Like, there's a lot of like a lot of the times. It's so complicated because you have to consider like the person that you're doing, you're you're playing or that you, has on your team may be doing well, but like yeah. there's a lot of the time where they say sell high, which means you just have to trade and get as much value as you can. And well, 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 well their stock is up because like, they didn't mm-hmm. just have a monster game. Get to like you know, we don't believe that they're going to keep. You sell them. Yeah. Very trust. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, that's our our fantasy segment. Yeah, it week. is. It is. So going to that, that more th- spooky, spookies. We we'll got back to more spooky, spooky. Like the, it's, the, like, the it's actually kind of funny because, like, I think football happens during the fall. <laughs> if you think about it, well, football does happen in the fall into winter. Not funny. Well, we'll do our, our next the our next update on the winter special when we're talking about football. You know, still. I, I, I gotta be down for that because like there's not much happening between week, but like I feel like it's updated. Well, you guys, I want I want to hear you guys just vote in the in the comments. Oh yeah, who's gonna win this? But what you think Logger's record is gonna be in the next five weeks? Is he gonna be five for five? Is he gonna go on a five game winning streak? Is he gonna go zero and ten? Zero and ten. I want to hear it. I want to hear your guys' opinions. That's gonna be what 
five weeks from now five weeks from now that's what like middle of november no november yeah we'll go we'll, we'll catch up back maybe end of november early december and we'll see but let us know if you think it's a turnaround point for for logger let us know if you think it's all downhill for me <laughs> yeah we'll see we'll see i, would add, I, I want i want to see all those numbers but yeah going from uh from then i'm ready to rate my beer i think so this is a coffee pumpkin ale but i think it should be a uh pumpkin porter because for me porter uh, I porter i always attribute to like vanilla like coffee right sweet but like bitter bitter which is exactly what this is not what coffee is yeah like, I mean, like, it's not like, sweet it's just straight bitter but the vanilla and the, the I feel like it's other sweet. stuff coffee is sweet i think this is sweet this is sweet but i'm saying coffee is not sweet if, if like i drink a, a cup of black coffee before this and that shit was not sweet but i think that this was yeah like it, it, i think more accurately it would be a porter i don't know why why it's an ale we might have to do more research to learn about what the, what makes a beer a porter yeah, what makes a beer a stout what makes a beer an ale episode. we'll see yeah. we'll see we'll learn but i think this beer was very solid we had our elysian puncacino coffee pumpkin ale which was six percent so i think this is the weakest one actually wait yeah it's actually that's on the we had a it had an 8.4, right. a 6.7. Six six this one's a 6, and I think the last one that we have is a 7.5. So this is the weakest one. Let yeah. me take another sip. Let me take another yeah. sip and think on it. This feels like I'm drinking a coffee. And I don't know if I like that. So originally, when I started liking dark beers, I liked... I would always mention I liked dark, that I like stouts and porters. But I didn't really like porters because they kind of tasted like coffee. Oh, wait, like, you prefer sweeter? Is that the sweet... I just prefer the, like, I don't know. It just tastes a lot like coffee, and I'm not the biggest fan of coffee. It just tastes like a, this, honestly, this tastes like a, like a cappuccino, like the fucking name entails, Puncacino. Oh, Puncacino, yeah. But um, I think for me, so we had Night Owl sitting at a 7.5, yeah. The Great Pumpkin sitting at a 6. I think this one is right in between at a 6.9, cappuccinos at a 10. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. Fuck I'm sticking yeah. with it. I get. Anyway, I, I the video for me is like I think I think this is like a good. I like it still. Huh? Like, I like this. Like all these drinks so far, I've been. I'm, my opinion, personal opinion for like a beer pack because last time we had beer misery pack where was that one that we had and those were tough beer. Like I had triple that was really bitter. Yeah, I'm really happy that we went with this one. I, when I saw it, I was like, that looks interesting. And then we looked it up again, and I was like, that looks interesting. And I kind of pushed for it. And I hope that you, that you were happy with the choice, because I, I definitely am. I, the thing, like, cause I, I was very afraid about the whole in yeah, But like, the more I drink it, I'm like, yeah, this is all like nice and sweet drinks. Yeah. Crap. I think they're always sweet. And, and you know, it, it makes sense, because almost all these drinks are half syrup on their IBU. That's good. Yeah. What's the lowest one? Was the night all the lowest one? Like in terms of like, I mean, lowest IBU. Oh no, well, this was zero apparently. No fucking way. This is zero. And then, like, but it's bitter. The night owl was eight. IBU's international bitter units, right? So I think As, I need the to thing learn is from the websites. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's probably true, but I feel when I think of an IBU, I think of like hop, how hoppy it is, because usually hoppy. like IPAs are very bitter in a different way than like. Porters and stouts are bitter uh, because cause I think that they're, they're more darker. They're like the, the malt goes like down. I always say the malt taste goes down on the back of your throat. Up is always from the, like it's so like it, this is just like you know it's like coffee. Yeah, coffee is like a I don't know back of the throat kind. Of, like for me, I'm just scared for this next one. Sorry, continue. For any for any puncino, I think. To me, this is what it tastes what what, what some uh, what orders or style to me. But I'm gonna give this seven point five. I do Texas Chainsaw. Uh, that's what I, 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 I was 
fucking what's that shit called the my my link mind training you my yeah mind mind linking your eyes uh, i was i was like which way no, I, was, you, I was gonna go <laughs> what would you say if I, if I said like halloween no i already said halloween you said no I said halloween. no you said halloween and friday the 13th yeah what would you say if i did like i remember I would have been like missed opportunities, but yeah. I like Texas that. I like Chainsaw, that. Yeah, yeah, Chainsaw, yeah. yeah. I, I, cheers to that. I do like this. Like overall, this has been a really good episode. Yeah, beers have been fire. I think this has probably been one of the best um, overall like, mix pack. Because we've gotten we gotten the IPA pack, we've Basically, gotten the the beer bag of mystery, we've gotten a couple of different ones. Well, well I guess, one hey, has, would you would you would you count on the white claws or no no the trulies that we did? No, because it's, I guess. I guess I kind of have to. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's like what, we got egg. the lemonade one. Yeah, lemonade. So this is pumpkin. So it's like it's not the same. I don't feel like it's the same, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's still all following the theme, right? The theme of all, like pumpkin. But I feel like the difference is like the the lemonade one was like all seltzers, whereas like you know, there's pumpkin ale, imperial pumpkin ale. Or I, 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 pumpkin I think ale. the pumpkin pack did way better job of. Yeah, they, they executed them, they it better. Executed it way better to the spot. Yeah, yeah. All right. And we're back with the last but not least beer from the Elysian Pumpkin Pack. I'm very excited for this one. Yeah. Because we're doing a Dark O the Moon Pumpkin Stout from yeah. Elysian. I'm hoping that it's going to be a good one. I'm kind of worried because all of these have been very fucking good. And I'm like... Maybe this is the flop. You know, there's always a flop in one of them. Oh, so. a flop. You know, it's actually funny because, like, we keep, whenever we kept going for the, okay, well, that's next round. It's like, I want to do a style. And, like, no. Keep, like, no. I, well, I was like, I wanted it to be third or last. But, but I, did, I did not anticipate all of these being so good. That's why I was like, I kind of, I was, I thought that the style would be good. So I was like, let's leave it for a little later. Yeah. But we'll see. It's kind of crazy. We, we actually, of all these episodes since coming back, they've all been good, good, good. Like things, yeah, yeah. I feel like the more we, I don't know if it's we just are more of I'm, beer drinkers or we just more enjoy we enjoy it. But like, I remember at the beginning, like when we did the 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 shoots one. Well, when I, when I did the, the shoots one, I think you did the happy bear or whatever. It was like, I don't think I think the highest was like a seven, oh, and this one it was averaging one, about a seven. Ones, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Let's see? I think, well, let's see what let's see. We'll see, um, we'll see. Yeah. Cheers. Let's try this. Cheers again. So, on the on the theme of Halloween. Yeah, I'll just like talking about Halloween. Um, cool. I that's exactly what I went through my mind. You know what? But you were saying you were that, talking, and I don't want to cut you off. Oh, but you're right. That that does taste exactly right. I'm I'm very very present. Pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. I'm very happy with that taste. It's good. Okay, well, well, we'll, we'll talk about it later. But all this talk about Halloween, man, it kind of makes me actually throw back to some of the Halloween experience we had. Not necessarily together, but like, you know, when we were adults, college. Like, because we, 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 we talk about uh, Halloween experiences, but we trick or treat as kids. But well, what do we do as adults? It's full circle, baby. Do parties. Do Halloween parties. We do, I did the whole dress up thing. <laughs> the whole dress up thing. Where, like, we would like to dress up different characters that we love. And but instead of just going asking for candy, we just get drunk <laughs> and party. And that is like kind of been crazy times. Um, I remember the. First one I think about when I think about Highland Parties was one that we had during your sophomore year. It was uh, the first, yeah. it was the first year me and Sarah were in the board of our yeah. Back to the parties. I came in as like I think when just like a ninja. Like I had a face mask, black. I wore a uh, long sleeve tight shirt with gloves and black pants. And I, I think I, I borrowed a thief headband. It was either a ninja slash Kakashi. That was, yeah. that, that was my costume. I ended up, for that one, I went as Minato. Which is like, I guess I'm bright with each other. <laughs> you know, the funny thing though, uh, do you remember the other Kakashi? I remember. There was another Kakashi. Yeah, well, and you, okay, so you, you know, took you a know, drink with them. There was. Who was? 
I don't know. I, he wasn't someone who was like a regular. I, I just wasn't. remember there was another Kakashi, I, and all, all three of us were like, oh, whoa, hey, whoa. Hey, you, we, we were always looking shots. That, that Halloween party, I, I drank some. Like, that was like my, my four local Savage. Thing, where I was like, you know what? I'll just drink a four loco and I'll be really good. That was, that was my. I, was, I remember telling people, like, oh, yeah, I'm drinking four loco. It's like, Really? Are you sure? Are you okay? Are you good? The thing is that that party was in like pretty small, and it, yeah. a lot more, a lot of people. That was crazy. Um, I remember that was the party after all. Um, Tower and I died, so we were like chilling. Right, you well, guys, a you lot of people died that that party. This is the thing. Every every party we have, some someone ends up dying. Yeah, I think I think so. Is was passed around. Alex. But yeah, that was the first one. After that, wait, was... wait, 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 wait. Before before you move on, like I want to say, sorry. The other person, the other stout, the other stout. The stout had someone else that had the same name as. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, he was from electrical that. engineering. He was from Mac. He was a friend from of Soju. And I remember, because I pre game with Soju, I think. Yeah, we, we pre game together. And this stout went as werewolf. Yeah, like a werewolf map. Which is like, I don't think it's smart, especially how hot insides of the apartment was. It, it was really hot. Yeah, it was fucking hot as balls. No, and it, everyone was outside. And as far as it was to be outside, yeah. it was like, it was a mess. It was a mess, because like the dance floor was inside, so it was like, I don't know. You fucked up, but like, um, this guy, that, the other style w- went so loud that uh, freaking, what was it? What was it? The VP. Right, boy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't go by Libra, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's very Cuban. Well, that's why I said Cuba Libre, but... Cuba, oh, yeah, yeah, Cuba Libre, okay. Cuba, Cuba Libre, he was, like, the internal at the time. He, like, literally told him, like, all right, you, you get... All right, he was, like, tell, warning him for being too loud because the other style was being really loud. And wasn't he was, me. Wasn't me. It wasn't you. That's good. It wasn't me. But he was being really loud. The thing is, you have to realize this other style, he never drank until he was 20 because he was, like, an international. Maybe it's just a... a- People who share the same name as Stout thing, because that's I was I was a late bloomer. Ah, uh, maybe. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he never drank until he's twenty one. The thing is, he, the reason why, because he he's an international. So he didn't want to f didn't with the ball, risk cause, like, it. Yeah, because like if he, he didn't want to like mess with it, like yeah, get yeah. arrested and like yeah, fear of getting deported. deported yeah. so that I think that was a big big factor. But so, like when he finally was able to do it, is that all? I don't know. It felt like such a um, young experience. Mm-hmm. from him yeah, he had a freshman experience when he was a senior pretty much essentially <laughs> that's what always happens and like, that's what it felt like but like it was fun i got to dance a lot uh there there are some bad bunny this was what year 2018 no 20 yeah 2018 this is when like i didn't even know bad bunny Eek. people were dressing up like big fan no, it was big like, fan but, but also, I, i'm surprised that i was able to be I guess I didn't feel the heat. Good time. Good time. It was good. And next year, you guys host. You and oh, well, you and Sal were there. We we hosted the party, but we didn't. Well, okay. It was a fr- our friend person that allowed us to use our house. We had a party house that year. Yeah, but like uh, Sal and you guys like really. I think that party, it. someone literally took their fucking pantry door off of the hinges for some reason. I think I remember literally at some point That's during crazy. that party, I was look. I looked at the fucking. It was either during that party or during that year. There was a point where I looked to the fucking pantry, and it was like one of those doors that like you pull out and it folds and it go. It like rides the hinge. Yeah. I don't know if that paints a picture. I kind of did a motion, so it maybe help help logger understand. But so that it opened like that, and I just remember being off the hinges, and that was a crazy party. We had a fucking pope pull up late. To the party and start yeah. blessing people with tequila shots. I died that party. It was funny. When, Common theme in a lot of our parties. When when they come, they platinum. 
Platano. Was, 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 was the Pope. They, they texted, um, what do you say? What do you call it? Yeah, that's coming. Blackpink. Really? If I was whiskey. Something. I don't know what he I, drinks. If I, if I use whiskey, something, something like, it was a whiskey. We something. have a lot of fucking old fashioned whiskey people, so I'm, it's, it's kind of confusing. Hey, if I hate whiskey. Whiskey it is. Anyway, he, I know, I know, Platino takes a whiskey, then, then you queue up a hymn, or I don't know, like a religious hymn. Yeah. He wanted to up, make an entrance. He wanted to make the he entrance. He wanted that main, country, main character entrance. And do you think if it being landed? It did. I think it did. It's like, it's like, because don't get like, if this, that come up in any other scenario, it would not have, you know, faced with like such hype, I guess. I feel like, you start hearing a hymn, it's like, what the frick is going on? It just worked. It just worked. And then the thing is, he was doing it in a really nice space. He's playing one hand with a cross, the other hand with a terrible handle coming in. And can you guess who the first person um, took, took, took the agua bendita? It was me. I was, I was dressed as Maui, and I freaking does. That was Soju's last party. Yeah, that was Soju's last party. She she went as uh uh that was her. Yeah. Good times. It was it's crazy. It's crazy that I was able to do. I was at the I was at that point. I was not drunk, but definitely you know good, good drunk. Where I literally was able to take him pouring Jose Cuervo down my throat. Like, you were you were just stronger than now you're a little bitch boy who can't uh, take shots no more. Yo, can you imagine? Like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make you train. I'm gonna get you a bottle of Jose Cuervo and I'm gonna make Jose you drink Cuervo. it what, because you, you need to train. What can you, you do need with to Don go. Julio? You need to go to the, the the bottoms of the barrels and if you throw that shit up, I'm gonna make you drink more. Uh, once you can drink a shot of Jose Cuervo and just let it go down, can you, you pass that, that test and then we'll go up to like what's the next one? Would would it be like? What, whiskey? No, rum, no, no, rum, like, Bacardi, tequila. Bacardi. I was just thinking more like higher level of the whiskey. Or no, not a whiskey, the, the tequila just... Well, like, don't like, you. you gotta go from bottom shelf to like mid to top shelf. But That's can we I'm, start with a high shelf? Because if you, you... Anyone could take a shot of high shelf. Not one? Hi, high shelf goes down smooth. You, if you can fucking stomach a like oh, $10 crazy? bottle of fucking seven fifty of tequila... Give me the price. So, 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 so people say like that they're able to do it... To do the cheap ones more. Well, I think I think the the cheap alcohol really more affects like your I don't know re- your recovery the next day. It's not necessarily some like it, it. You taste the the smoothness of it, but like it's still alcohol at the end of the day, so it still hurts. At the end of the day, it still burns. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was. What what, what was your experience? I died. You died. I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh, I came as Itachi, and the crows didn't have my back. We'll leave it at that. No, no, we don't leave it at that. We say that. We're just going to say Stout was a hard-bodied, popular guy. The, the problem there was that I drank with too many people, and too many people were like, let's take a shot. Yeah. And I took shots with them. It was, was, it was the... Uh, it was some, some people, it was actually their first party of the... Yeah. Of, of sangria? No, not Sangria. Like, sangria, uh, no, no. Sang- sangria is what, is what the recita says. But then I call it white claw. But what's tequila? Is tequila sakes? No? It wasn't there. Sakes. No, I'm, I'm Sa- saying, like, is Sa- that, is that the name for Sakes' partner? Tequila? Uh, te- yeah. no, no. Sakes I mean, said uh, his wife is tequila. I thought it was sangria for some reason. No, no, yeah, but, no, but Cerecita, yeah, yeah, they yeah. call... Yeah. I know that she was Sangria, but I, when I... I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. Sip so, part. Yeah. No, yeah, you I were, at that party. I drank a lot. I think that year was... You drank with Bushy. Was, you drank was with... Turning up. Yeah. You were. I feel, I feel like you really took up the that mantle of, like, being the party dude. I was... A, I was Sour and, 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 was and, the behind the scenes, and I was the face of it. And I think I think that's that's a really good team. This sucks. You. <laughs> Does, it, it's not. It's, not well, it's a good team for me because she had to deal with all the bad parts, and I just dealt yeah, with I guess getting people turned. I guess that's true. But like, so shout out to Sour. Shout out to Sour. She was the real MVP. But, but I I still shout you out for like you know putting your liver on the line. 
Oh, yeah. Like, and you're that have fucking cirrhosis by like eight to twenty fucking seven. No, but like at the same time, it's like I think I respect it because like, dude, I'm sure that experience wasn't as probably. Yeah, as, I fucking died. Like, like, like the, people might say like you were having fun, but dude, you're you're, you're like going through it yeah. <laughs> at the end. But like, I respect. It was a good party though. It was a good party. The the, the, the bleep house was a good good time. I I would have to really disagree with the people who said that the first party of that year was their party, and then the Halloween party was the first real party. I will always disagree with that. I I enjoyed the first party of that year. I think Sarah did a great job. I think you just weren't there for the chaos. Of what chaos? Of the first. Wasn't one? that the first? The first party was where everyone died. Of 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 when you were pack and I was marketing. No. Except house. No. Was that that? Because people were saying like in the first party of the Shep house, quote unquote. But but I don't know. People were just lame. People were what thinking like, the, what was the one after that? What was the next after Halloween? Party? Was it a our my apartment? Oh, it stayed in. I think I oh, think after about Halloween. That. Yeah, I'm talking about after oh, this. Oh, year. Halloween. Yeah, it became a more of a because pandemic happened and. It became, oh it, damn! It, it, it was became, a low key one, so it was like. What do you dress friends. up as? I was I was my manga's orc. Oh no, that was yeah I know that one. I doing? think it came back as. Do another Naruto. I did another Naruto thing. I think all I did was Naruto. Or did you not do One Piece? Year. Like if I no, I'm do, pretty sure. I think I did. I think I might have done. Um, Minato Itachi. Minato again. Minato or Itachi. Or maybe Kakashi. I, I, I'm sure you just used probably that Akatsuki maybe robe again. I think I'm going to use the, the Hokage's robe with a Kakashi team that year. But that'd be cool. It's like him but the thing as... is, it always sucked because we had the conference. So like I couldn't go hard on the comp, like on the on the, the things because like I would have dyed my hair yellow or like fucked with my hair. But like Did you ever do that though? Well, not dyed it. I would have used like the spray and fucked up my hair, but I'm not gonna do that before a convention where I'm trying to get a job, you know. Yeah. But it was like, but yeah, that was that was the low key one. That was, that key. was I was one of my favorites just because it was like so intimate. It was with the homies. We did that. It was a good time. We did that thing with uh, where we went to the bathroom. Like, I think this person's. Gonna... We, I don't think we finished the video, did we? I know, I know, I know. We did all the initial ones. We just we did the initial. We, ones. we just didn't decide who was the drunkest. How about oh, yeah. this? Let's just decide now. Who do you think drunk is that? I don't think you're like this. Me? Really? I don't think so. The, the you had, I, a, the you had I, a date with the sink, my guy. <laughs> I was not the only one. But who is she also got, had a date with the sink? Because you guys did gin and gin and gin fucks her up. And I, all I gotta say is, I had a strong performance that party. I, I think I which did. was a fucking a miracle compared to my last parties. But that was that was probably one of my favorites. And then, did you go to the one after that? I don't think you did. No, because then you guys did. You didn't miss much. We'll leave it at that. No, you guys sent me probably what I have to say is the hottest picture I've ever seen of you guys. Freaking. Addy Light. Addy Light. It was because of Bushy yeah. and Sour. Thing is, the thing is, though, I didn't say it. it's a vibe that... It's such a vibe that there were the oh, cops the, and you guys were the prisoners. Yeah, I had the freaking teardrop. I had yeah. like, dude, I, th- I think I think you wore well to lose prison clothes. You like you look like you are a smart prison person. I don't know. I, I feel like you look really good. I personally, it was good. It was it was good, but I, hope, I didn't feel like weren't there. No mines weren't there. No mm. Mm. actual party. No. Yeah, it was just weird. It was a weird party. Um, yeah. what, what, what made it weird then? Well, like, a lot of people, like, it was just a short party, I think. You think you didn't know? I, th- I think maybe that thing is, you didn't know that as many people in those. No, I, I did. You didn't know a it's lot just, of people? It's just, no, I knew people, but it's just, They're, the people. This wasn't the same. The people weren't like, the old Shep. I, I, I liked old Shep more than new Shep. Well, old, old Shep's, Shep's always um, different. Like, always. I had, it had a special spot, place in my heart. What, what do you say is old? I just feel like new sub got very clicky. You, you don't think we were? Or like you don't think like when we, we were, but like the parties were not clicky. Oh, like, like I was, was like, I was ready to hire everybody. Time, yeah. and it was like, 
if someone you never knew came up to you, like you'd be like, you want to go take a drink? You want you need it? Like it was like, I don't know. It was just, it was different. I yeah, the last one was kind of. Uh, but it was, I mean, all of the sub, well, oh, bleep, all of the Halloween parties were good. We got to throw a Halloween party for like next year. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to do it. The year though. before. Like, yeah. So this is that. Halloween's coming to an end. And so is this beer. This so beer. I think it's time to rate the last, last one. And then, and then we're going to tier them. I already have my tier list ready. Good. I think for me. Well, well, so well, this, well, well first do the, this coffee one. Or this out. Oh, well, yeah. I was going to do that. So this is the Elysian Dark of the Moon. Dark O the Moon. It's, it's O with an apostrophe at the top. I think that's what the fucking is. The pumpkin stout. So this one, I was worried that it was going to fucking disappoint. You love your stouts. I'm fucking happy to say that it didn't. So I think with this one, this has probably been one of the better stouts that I've had on the, on the pod. Or the other ones, yeah, like dragon, like yeah, dragon's milk on the can, yeah, like old Rasputin, old Rasputin. You had your style though. My style was weird though, because I don't feel like it was a style. But I had old Rasputin and I didn't like it. That's what I'm saying. It didn't, I it didn't yours. taste like. Maybe it's because it was a more of a craft one since we made it. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, but I think this one was an easy nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Wow. Nine out of ten. Yeah, that you, you didn't Moonies. You didn't do Werewolf? What's Mooney? Damn. Moon. That's disappointing. I don't know. I don't know what Moonies are actually. That Mooney. Mooney. Padfoot. Fuck. Oh wow. I didn't know the food. Disappointing. Dis- I thought you liked Harry Potter, but I guess. I guess Moonies. it's nine Moonies out of ten. Nine Moonies out of ten. Okay, then that actually gives me a really good idea. I will put. Yeah. Like, for it's probably, it was fire. No, dude, they, they, so, it's so, it was so genuine, the reaction you first had to sip. So you, you, I, think, I don't know, I think that Mike picked up, like, you're like, whoa. Yep, that's what it was. I was happy. You were. I was happy when I took that sip. I was like, it I'm was. happy we left this one for last. Because I was worried that, like, the other ones were going to overshadow it, but... Talk to me. Talk to me. What do you think? What do you think? Take a tippy sip. Savor it. Think about that rating. I don't know. I, I, I think I prefer the, the pumpkin ale. Wow. Which one of them? <laughs> the first one? <laughs> the first one. I think, I think really? probably, the pumpkin ale has been my favorite one. I think I would probably rate this at seven. Okay. Only because like, I feel like it's too much. The first taste, though. You have to agree. The first taste was the best. But the other taste ever since then, it felt like I don't know. Alcohol. First yeah. one felt like such a nice pumpkin order. Like it's a mixture of bitterness. It's really good first taste. Of, of the first taste, I would give it like a nine point five. But from the the experience after, I would give it I would give it a seven to like five. They already did Friday the Thirteenth. But it's wolf. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do seven. Do another movie. Seventeen. Teen Wolf out of ten. Oh. Seventeen wolves. Oh, oh you mean seventeen? Wait. So, seventeen wolves talking about Teen Wolves as if it was freaking seventeen. This guy's tripping. So. I wanted to rank them in oh, order. Yeah, yeah, that's, the, that's the next part. So we had, for mm-hmm. me, do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? I already have it ready. Okay. So I'm going to go from bottom to top. Yeah. I want to reiterate that this was probably the best like beer pack that I've yeah. had. Or like drink this, pack. Or we've I, had on this. Yeah. Pod. I agree. So I agree. The Lucian pumpkin pack. At your local grocery store, or at your you know your local liquor store, I think you have to go for it. You have to experience it. Like go yourself. for it. It's like unless you like hate the taste of pumpkin because they the all thing, taste I, like pumpkin. The thing I hate the taste. I don't. Know, I, I didn't even like, like, like the pumpkin pies. I, I liked it. Hey, okay. so I I, so I, maybe, I agree. maybe you should you should have this. So for me, I'm gonna name them all again, and then we'll go through it. We had a pumpkin imperial pumpkin ale, 
a pumpkin ale, a pumpkin stout, and a coffee pumpkin ale. Three pumpkin ales and a stout. For me, the one at the bottom, again, really want to reiterate, it's not bad. Just my least favorite out of these. Personal taste, you know, maybe it'll, it'll be your favorite. My bottom was the Great Pumpkin Imperial Ale. I had a 6 out of 10 pumpkins out of 10. Right above that, we have the Puncaccino, which was a 6.9 cappuccinos out of 10. Just edging that one out, we have Mr. Night Owl Pumpkin Ale, which was a 7.5 owls out of 10. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch mine up. It's no longer the Hoo Hoo Owl. It's the Tokyo Ghoul Owl. He don't know about that. He don't know about Tokyo Ghoul Owl, but I don't, I don't that's number two. Those, and I'm very happy to say that my number one, top of the top, happy we left it for the end, is the Dark O the Moon Pumpkin Stout with a whopping 9 out of 10 Moonies, which Mr. Logger didn't even know. Mr. Harry Potter himself didn't know about freaking Moonie. I just, Crazy. I just wasn't expecting you to say it. Bruh, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be dropping the references every once in a bit. while. Mr. Yeah, Alan, I think the, the winner, winner, chicken dinner, Dark of the Moon, Pumpkin Stout. Very happy. Very happy we'd saved it for last. What about you? I think I'm going to go start from the bottom. Okay. okay. I'm going to start right. with like the Dark, Dark of the Moon. I think it was a seven. And like, I'm going for the Bunkachino. Yeah, I thought that the coffee notes were really nice. Next one. Great punk. I, I put this as a second one only because like I respect how much sweet it can taste with the alcohol it has. I mean, this is like the strongest one. And somehow it tastes like nothing. It's like just sweet pumpkin pie. Kind of crazy how I, it has some, you know, alcohol y taste that like, you know, curves the, the enjoyment. But if you want to go for something that like, it's strong, but sweet. crap. You should go for this. Top of the top of the crop, it will be night owl for me. Because for me, that first taste really set the mood for this whole episode. It's like for me, I was very hesitant about the whole pumpkin. Pie. I don't like pumpkin pie at all. I don't like it. I I just don't like cinnamon. But this was the thing that like made me. Actually, look forward to the next, the, to the following beers. But like you said, all three of these are good. What about the the fourth one? Oh, they're they're they're, they're, they're all good. They're, they're, all, good. they're, they're all good. It's just like, like seven, seven. Just oh, it's like I think priority packs that are to come on this episode have a very high standard to set. This one, not. Uh, this one, not gonna. But yeah, yep. that's been us. That's been your your boy Stout and Lager. Episode 17. Fall episode. Uh, bring it oh, up. Spooky. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Yeah, let us know your, like, favorite Halloween experience. Like, did you do any, like, crazy Halloween parties? Did you watch any scary movies? What's your favorite Halloween movie? What's your, your favorite? Are you into pumpkin pies? Yeah. No? Let's know. Like, hey, and thank you so much for, for listening. I was just rambling about pumpkin Years and stuff, viewership. Uh, catch us on the next one where Raz will continue the follow up episode. Follow there theme. Yes, sir. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Thanks, Star guys. Lager. Signing off. Sure. Sure.